So welcome everyone to the um, Get Acquainted Day presentation for the Art and Art History Department. We're very excited uh, that you come to join us. Um, uh, my name is Felicia Els. I'm Professor of Art History and also the Chair of the Department of Art and Art History. Um, we are a combined department. We have uh, majors and minors in both art history and in studio art. Um, we have a wonderful dynamic environment and we're gonna show you uh, uh, um, images and video that attest to that. Uh, we also really promote interdisciplinary work, a very interdisciplinary environment from our actual students who often are double majors to the kinds of connections we make in our classes and things like that. Uh, we also emphasize a lot of hands-on work, uh, whether it's, you know, curating in a gallery or just doing uh, or, or showing your work or visiting major museums. We're very, very excited. My specialty is the Italian Renaissance, and I'm going to let, um, I've got uh, my uh, 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 fellow colleague, faculty member, Austin Siegemeyer, and two of our outstanding students who will introduce themselves and, and uh, talk a little bit about themselves. So Austin, would you like to introduce yourself? Sure, thank you. I'm Austin Stigermeyer and I'm the assistant professor in painting. Um, so I'm here to represent the studio art side of the Department of Art and Art History. And I believe that we have some um, really unique offerings for um, our students, particularly majors. Um, so we have course offerings, and this would be for majors or minors, or really any students could take um, studio classes in drawing, painting, sculpture, ceramics, as well as uh, printmaking, photography, and newly we have a course in digital media. Um, and then Felicia was also mentioning the kind of interdisciplinary um, nature of it. One unique feature that we also have in the West Building where some of our studios are is the Innovation and Creativity Lab, and so that's a kind of digital fabrication space where design and art and technology all meet and they have 3D printers and a variety of tools that students can use. So I believe that's a, a unique thing for students to use across the board, whether they're a major, an art major, or from another area of campus. Um, and then in terms of like uh, the West building, some other features that we have for studio majors are we have a professional photography and lighting studio where students can photograph their work. Um, there are individualized studio spaces that you get as a senior art major, which is a real unique um, uh, benefit. I didn't have my own studio until I was in graduate school. So you get your own studio space if you're an art major. And then we have two white wall spaces that function as a place for students to either do installations or see what their work looks like in a gallery type context and that's the west gallery um, which is art studio run space and then there's an additional um, kind of trial space in the area where we have our um, student studios um, in addition to that and felicia will be covering this a little bit more um, in the presentation later the uh, senior capstone students get to participate in a professional exhibit of their work through the schmucker art gallery which is amazingly staffed and everything that goes along with that, including there's a capstone catalog that has a professional presentation of their work, as well as every year we do an annual trip for majors, both in studio and in art history to New York City, where students get to network. We go to the major museums and the galleries. It's also an opportunity to do studio visits and really to take advantage of the arts and culture that the, uh, the Big Apple has to offer. And we have a lot of fun and we eat well. Yeah. <laughs> Darby, would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, everyone. I'm so glad you can join us today. Uh, my name's Darby. I'm a senior. I'm a double major in psychology and studio art, and I also minor in the Civil War Era Studies program. Wow. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, cool. So. Yeah, it's very interdisciplinary. As uh, previously, previously stated, I've been able to do some really interesting work to combine some psychology research I've done with my studio art classes. Um, mm -hmm. I've also been the house leader of Art House, which is one of the theme houses. So um, you can really kind of take the classroom outside of, or take your class outside of the classroom and immerse yourself even more if that's something you're interested in. Um, so we had events with the Schmucker Art Gallery. We had different art themed parties, uh, some really cool ways to get more involved. Great, great, that is wonderful. Thank you so much, Darby. Um, Paige, would you like to talk about yourself? 
Yeah. Um, hi, everyone. My name is Paige DeChapelle. I'm a senior and I'm an art history and art studio double major. Um, and I just want to first put this out there that I totally feel you guys, high school graduation, I'm in the same position, me and Darby. Um, and I just want to say that moving to online has actually been a true testament to the relationships I've been able to develop with my professors over these four years. With my two capstones, I have a lot of questions. I'm even <laughs> telling my professors all the time, always on Zoom calls, phone calls, what have you, but they've always been one-on-one. -on -one. And I think that's something about Gettysburg I'm gonna remember forever, these relationships I've been able to develop. And um, something, just an example, is that Susan Eisenhower from the Eisenhower Institute actually reached out to Professor Else asking for some sort of um, recommendation of an art student to kind of join the Eisenhower Institute. And it's typically a very political science heavy field. Um, so she wanted to kind of diversify and bring some different students in. And because of that, I got to go to Normandy in France with Susan Eisenhower, That's learn amazing. about grandfather. I mean, it's just so incredible to think about. Um, and I'm I just- Granddaughter of Ike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> absolutely insane. The fact that I actually got to be able to go there. Um, and I feel like even though our art department might be kind of small, like we're so much better off because of it, because we've been able to develop these awesome relationships. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you so much for sharing that. That was great. Uh, that was a great memory. And I'm not going to forget to mention this. If anybody has any questions, um, please uh, put them in the chat section. Um, so that is how we will see your questions and we uh, can address them at any time during this presentation. Depending on whether I'm on a screen share or not, the chat uh, section can be found uh, found either at the bottom of your screen or if we're doing a share screen it might be at the top under a more you have to go into the more thing but um, feel free yes there it is see there it is and there's the and you can click that and then and then you'll see it in the box there so um, so that's great so I'm gonna I'm gonna dive right in and uh, take you to our website all right, wonderful. So here is the landing page for our website here. Uh, and um, and uh, it's got a lot of great information on it. I'm just going to go over a, a, a couple of things here uh, to show you this. We have a wonderful departmental video here. And um, I'm just going to show you uh, just a few snippets from that. Uh, just We're going to just watch about three minutes of it. It is a 12-minute a video, which you can watch the rest of. But I wanted to share with you, um, uh, and this video itself was also created by a student, and uh, that, you know, some of the reasons why did you, what kind of student are you? Why art? Why art history? And so I'm going to play a little bit of that. You'll also see some of our other faculty members here. Uh, you're going to see me yakking away, but you'll also see Mark Warwick, who is our uh, sculptor faculty member. So I'm going to I'm gonna play it on there. Because it is a vibrant major in a field of study that draws on your passion and your interest and your engagement with the world. There's our printmaking studio. It draws on skills that relate to both visual language, but also the ability to tell a good story. It relates to culture, you know, it's about religion and history and politics. So it's really a perfect um, place to be within a well-rounded liberal arts institution. Because studio artists are critical thinkers and they're creative problem solvers. I've had studio majors that have gone on to be doctors, architects, professors, osteopaths, I should mention that, work in the fashion industry, industry that have become designers, and have gone into financial advising too. It's absolutely true. that we have on us, everything that we're sitting on, everything that we live in, has been influenced by an artist. Studio art, I think, also is the most complementary course that you could take that is complementary to every other course within the Gettysburg College curriculum. That was Mark Warwick, who is our uh, faculty member in uh, uh, sculpture. 
And I'm gonna fast forward, I'm gonna show you a couple of great uh, alums here. Here we go. The studio classes are very, are very nice because you're in these sort of open environments where it's just sort of all creativity. It's just the juices are really flowing. You can feel it. Uh, Elliot so was around. a health sciences major. And so yeah, again, it shows that cross-disciplinary interest. So you have lots of different things from which to draw uh, inspiration for your pieces. To speak on like uh, David's the amazing experience as a as a factor of like the professors because that's obviously who makes that experience. They all are just like mind-numbingly talented. <laughs> we didn't pay him to say that. Ridiculous. He really did say that of his own is accord. Like so technically proficient that it's just. And David like currently in Brooklyn and doing well in the art fairs, both there and in, in Florida. I hear Tina Gebhardt's work, or when I look at. Amir Kabashi's paintings, or when I look at John Kobleski's drawings, or Mark's sculptures, like I really do feel like I leave every semester from a studio class with so much more than I than I enter the semester, and that's all that's all I want. All right. Going back to Amir, yeah, I had him for Six, three different seven, semesters. Of, seven, there we go. David uh, is doing very well in New York City. Like oh, this is another great really alum. Me become like a confident person. I think that having adults hold me to a standard, help me kind of like see myself, like my greatest potential and like how I could come to that. Of just having them believe in me. Oh, there's Tina, <laughs> an art ceramicist. Me, encouraging like whatever weird interest or pursuit. That That's Yan Soon, uh, our that other art history faculty um, member. And I always felt really valued by my professors. So I think like their sort of nurturing was really helpful in that process. I think the special thing about the art department at Gettysburg is the amount of opportunities it gives its students, especially in the Schmucker Art Gallery setting. One thing that was unique about my experience, I felt, is the ability to collaborate with other students on curatorial projects as part of a uh, course requirement. I took a math as I'm going to end that right there. Um, I just want to comment on how the last two students you saw, Francesca, uh, went on to a kind of art adjacent field. She has now finished her. Um, masters in art therapy and has is done amazing work with juveniles and at Rikers Island. She's incredible. So she had an interest in public service and tied that along with her art. Emily, the, the, the other uh, woman that you saw there, uh, has completed her master's uh, at Syracuse and now is employed in the curatorial department at the National Gallery of Art in Washington, D.C., and we visit her several times there, and it's very, very exciting. So we really try and teach skills that people can, uh, that our students can bring into a variety of professional uh, uh, um, avenues beyond graduation. But I want to move on to show you all um, some, uh, 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 a couple of things that we, the dynamic space that is the Schmucker Art Gallery. And a couple of opportunities we have, especially on the studio end, for, um, uh, uh, to display their work. One of them is the juried art show. And I'm showing you uh, uh, some photographs from that. And this is an example of where we sort of provide our students with a kind of professional level type opportunity. A jury shows where we bring in a professional artist from the outside, and this is this artist here, um, and um, students submit their work and they are judged blindly. And, and we have prizes. And it's just the energy is so great because it's all about the students. And you can see there, and that's Tina Gephardt, who is another one of our um, faculty members here. And there's lots of hugging. There's lots of excitement and positivity. Uh, people win who didn't expect to win, like uh, Laura got uh, a, a that She was a first year and she, she got a prize. She was very excited about that. And so it's a really, really fun moment. And also pe some people get awards who um, are in a variety of class levels and are a variety of majors. We've had biology students win some of the prizes and things like that. So it's a really positive environment. We really are very excited uh, to bring that. 
And another um, event that I want to uh, talk about is the uh, Senior Capstone Exhibition. And um, uh, here I'm showing you images from last year's Senior Capstone Talks. So in the studio, uh, so in both studio art history, we have very, very um, rigorous, but wonderful capstone experiences, which Darby and Paige are now experiencing in their full moment, um, where they really get to express their interests, uh, their themselves, but on a level that is professional in that it will set them up if they wish to go on into graduate school or into professional work. So the studio artists uh, uh, have to produce a body of work that they show in the Schmucker Art Gallery, and you can see here, uh, uh, and, and it's another fun, great uh, event. Um, here is, I have, to, I have to do that. I love Lee here. He, brought, he wore his little suit at his final, like, look at his painting. It's just amazing. I, I feel like he's like a Velasquez on steroids. It's really, really great. And, um, and so they really get this wonderful experience uh, where the gallery is really there for them. Uh, and um, uh, the art history uh, students uh, produce a 25-page research paper on a topic of their choice, um, and they also present this uh, to the public as well. Both of our majors um, get to uh, uh, be in, uh, get featured in a gorgeous capstone catalog, which is very, very professionally produced. And here I'm showing you uh, a PDF of one from before. But if you were, if you were here, then uh, it, it, you know, if we were able to come to campus, normally we would be in the Schmucker Art Gallery. The juried art show would be on. So you have to imagine all those, all that art around us. And I would be giving you copies of uh, the capstone catalogs. And here they are. Uh, here's one that I've got here. So it's it's beautiful, glossy, and um, here I'm uh, I'm doing what I can by showing you this. And what we have here featured, again, beautifully done. Uh, and but these are real people. These are not paid models. So we have here um, uh, uh, Mora, and we get you know we have this images of the students, their sort of professional statement, and uh, you know, a sort of sample of their artwork. So we've got just a whole variety of, um, uh, of uh, works that we can see there. And there's, so one half of the catalog is the studio. And um, this is Emma's beautiful print. I think you may have seen that actually being made in the video. Uh, it is painstaking work, by the way, to do this kind of woodcut work. So wonderful. She had a great interest in, in that. Oh, this was amazing, her work, Catherine's. Um, and then the second half is the art history capstones, where we have, again, some of our students here and a description of what they worked on. We couldn't always have the image here because of copyright, but we do have it in, of course, the take-home version. Becca Duffy, wonderful. She just finished um, her MA at uh, um, University of Del Delaware in Winterthur and is now employed at a historic home and collection. Wonderful stuff. So students are going out pursuing their passion and that's what we really love about our department. Molly Lindbergh, I just heard from her. She did this wonderful uh, uh, project on 17th century Dutch art and um, she was also captain of the rugby team. So she had quite some really notable injuries, I remember. And she has gone on to become an assistant director at a gallery in um, Florida and at Martha's Vineyard. So it's, it's just really amazing. Kelly McGuire too works for interior design. And I wanna scroll us to the very end of our catalog where we have these wonderful sort of collage of um, the different places where our students have gone. And um, with the kind of student that comes to our department, they tend to be interested in other cultures. They often study abroad. Uh, and in fact, some of our students even study abroad two semesters. And, and Austin mentioned that we have a yearly trip to New York City. And you can see we're there in the Met looking at the New York Kuros uh, and this kind of thing. And I think Mark is there with, uh, uh, they're in France somewhere. So it's a really fun dynamic time. And I wanted to show you all that. I'd like to take us back to our, um, our department webpage again and scroll down and let me just check to make sure I'm not missing any questions here. Uh, let's see if there's any chat 
I'm going to put that chat box up so that I can see it just to make sure if anyone chimes in with any questions that I'm not missing that. So um, as we scroll down, I wanted to highlight um, one of our uh, wonderful stories here. And this is uh, um, an exhibition that is really a culmination of our attention to uh, student curation. And um, this is an exhibition uh, called The Plains of Mars, European War Prints. And we were very excited to be able to bring the, uh, an exhibition of this size uh, because it, 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 they, we got to have a lot of old master artists. So for example, we had prints that ranged from Albrecht Dürer uh, to um, Jericho and Francisco Goya. So we actually had Goya's Disasters of War series in this beautiful exhibition. And um, what we believe in here in the department is we want to give students the opportunity to work with the material. So normally, if we have a show of this kind with this kind of um, material, you know, either just the faculty members or graduate students would work on it. But we instead gave it to undergraduates, and we had two students who uh, curated this show and wrote the catalogs for um, this, as well as the wall labels. And we also had some um, more videos made up, and I'm gonna play just one of them for you. It's a one minute video uh, of one of the curators, Bailey Harper. And, um, and it's, it, it just, they loved it. It was just a wonderful experience, as well as a gorgeous show, which you'll see when I play this video here. This summer I did the Colby Research Fellows Program where I spent the entire summer researching for the Plains of Mars exhibition. I studied mainly on the British, French, and Spanish views of warfare. Then I uh, helped curate the exhibition uh, where I would hang everything and I also contributed about 20 pages of writing, two long essays, Gorgeous and show. catalog entries. I absolutely loved it. This is what I want to do with my life. I love historical representations of events, but put into art. And I want to help educate people on how art can influence the world and how it's influenced by the uh, surroundings. This exhibition really helped me put together everything I love. And plus with the added bonus of getting to hang everything myself, I got to spend time with artists I've loved for years and I've studied since I can remember. <laughs> And it was, this was such an invaluable experience for me and I couldn't have found it anywhere else. All right, it was just, it was a wonderful show. And uh, I wanted to show you normally, again, if, if we could meet in person, I would have given you a copy of this catalog that we produce. So not only do the students get a chance to um, put on the show, but they actually have something that they've kind of published here. And so this is, they wrote all of that. Uh, and uh, so we would normally give you this, but hopefully you can come and get it yourself later. Um, I also want to show you that um, any art history major or minor gets to take part in curating a show. And Paige, of course, was part of this show, which was a gorgeous show, Flora and Fauna in East Asian Art. And she wrote a couple of pieces on Asian art. And that was just really wonderful. Uh, um, and we're, and again, uh, also get that wonderful experience learning the skills, research, writing, communication, uh, putting on an event. Uh, it's just something that is useful for someone in any field. Uh, and so we're very excited to uh, be able to help students uh, do that in whatever way we can uh, there. So very, very exciting there. And um, one last uh, place I want to uh, show you. Oh, oops. Oh, my. oh sorry about that. Oops, oh, hold on. There, there we go. Sorry, my chat box got out of control there. Um, is one other uh, example is this uh, Wonders of Nature and Artifice show that uh, is really the ultimate in interdisciplinary. And I'll uh, have that open. There we go. This is a show that I helped, uh, that I worked with, with a professor in the biology department. And we put on a chamber of wonders uh, in the Schmucker Art Gallery. And um, we used, um, you can see there's a puffer fish, there's a sculpture, and there's all sorts of um, interdisciplinary uh, 
uh, connections being made. Uh, there's a 16th century manuscript page. Uh, there is a, a, a skull from health sciences. So it's one of these things where I really love this show because it, it is kind of cool. Uh, and um, it also shows really how we want to be a nexus for people of all sorts of interests. And um, while it is tempting to uh, show you, show off the panorama, and these are all of the uh, research entries that the students uh, made uh, that you can um, visit actually online if you want to look at more. But I just want to go to uh, some of the images of the students themselves at the installation and reception. And, um, and, and all of the students, uh, are, have to put on a gallery talk to the public. So again, they learn these skills in public speaking. And, and we command a crowd. I mean, oftentimes, many of our gallery people are standing up because there's so many people there. It is just a wonderful place. And you can see all of this. By the time that they worked through all of this, and many of these were first years, in fact, uh, they, were, they were really so wedded to their topic. And again, it ranged from skulls to paintings. Uh, there's Noah Leapson, another uh, a fine senior who is going on to study graduate work in technical art history at Glasgow. So we're really excited about that. Alicia, and again, can I um, just interject? We do have a question in the chat from Fantastic. Catherine. Thank you yeah. for keeping your eye on that. I just got so carried away. Let <laughs> me find, let me find my chat. There we go. Wonderful. Oh, let me, uh, there we go. I can jump in with a possible answer too. It's what are good minors to pair with an art history major. Um, I'm not an art history major, so Paige can also probably speak to this. Um, but I would say one of the great things about Gettysburg in general is that you can pair so many things so uh, mm -hmm. fairly seamlessly. Uh, one of my friends who graduated last year, Laura, you can actually see her on the screen right now in the white top. Um, she was very yes. interested in civil war and public policy. Um, so she had a public policy minor. She's actually in England right now getting her master's in art history and war. Um, and she'll be getting her PhD uh, beginning this summer. Um, so she was really interested in that. So that's what she did. Um, I've been doing a lot of civil war art history um, and independent studies with my civil war minor. Um, so I think you can really take whatever your interests are and find a way to pair it. Um, and that's just one of the great things about Gettysburg, I think. One that sticks out to me too is um, we have an organizational management um, major yes. that feels like that might be something that would be in line. Obviously, it depends on what area, like art history can be a broad field as well too, depending on what your goals are, what um, area of that discipline. And Felicia, I'm sure you can speak to this more, but I know the OMS degree is one that kind of stuck out to me. And we have um, on the docket a new business major on the way, mm -hmm. or is it a business minor? Business minor. Business minor. Uh, no, it's now a major. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, it's now a major. Um, and they are very, they're very interested in um, in making their major and their minor interdisciplinary. And I do have uh, one of our art history majors, uh, um, Emily, uh, is um, did a wonderful uh, course cluster where she looked at um, uh, the concept of leisure time, uh, which is a kind of OMS concept, but applied it to Impressionist France and all of the portrayals of women and, and family life and things like that. So it was such a cool, cool connection. So it kind of depends if you're a number cruncher and you know can do the, and want to do like a business or statistics, then that's a great thing. Another um, pairing I often see is with foreign language. So if uh, we have some people who are double majors in Latin American studies and art history, uh, German, you know, all of those things. Um, history is very, very popular as well. And really one of the best pairs you can do is art history major and a public history minor uh, because the public history um, is sort of, uh, um, you get a lot of the advantages of the, of the history department and their connection with the battlefield and things like that. So I've seen everything. I mean, right now we have, uh, a studio and biology double major. So really, it, it's, it's, th the world is open. It, it's really a wonderful thing. So what a great question. And, and uh, I, I know we didn't give a single takeaway 
answer, but um, I think that um, we showed the sort of rich pairings that, that, that are there. Um, um, I will, if there aren't any more questions, I'll just sort of uh, close out by uh, showing you, if you want to learn more about our department, um, we also have a wonderful um, uh, newsletter, and this is something else that I would have passed out to you uh, if we were able to see each other. Uh, we have tons of things going on visiting lectures, there's the juried art show there, and a student also um, uh, uh, put this together, uh, the newsletter. Uh, and we, you can find the new copies of our newsletter, which also has usually a little section on our capstone, there are senior capstones and things like that. Um, you can find it on our webpage, and it is, it's not under the main section, but it's under the student opportunities section. So there you can go um, and then you can see uh, there we've got, you click on that and it should open up in its own little, the magic of PDF. Yeah, loading, 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 and there it is. So again, you can see uh, some of those uh, shots. You have to imagine that we're standing in this space, right? The jury dart show and that, that's, that's uh, where we are. So there's our New York trip and all sorts of things. So um, I don't know if there are any other questions. Um, I hope you all have enjoyed this little quick trip. We've just given you a taste of our department. There's so much more, so much more that we could cover. Um, and I really hope that you feel free to reach out to any of us. Uh, please visit our department page. Um, I can't uh, uh, thank you enough for uh, coming and listening to us. And um, uh, I hope to see you all at Gettysburg. Oh, did you want to mention the first year seminar? Oh my gosh, you're right, the first year seminar. Um, yes, oh my gosh. You are lucky because next year we have a brand new first year seminar. This is a seminar that's only for four first years and usually everyone in that class also rooms together. So it's like really, really tight knit. This first year seminar uh, is called Museum Staff Only, Behind the Scenes at the Museum. Put that down for your first choice. I think it's gonna fill up. Um, and that is taught by Sarah Gillespie, who is a wonderful uh, um, specialist in uh, 19th century art and civil war. So uh, th that is great. And we also have reserved slots in a variety of our introduction courses, introduction to drawing, um, introduction, uh, there's the Western art survey, a modern art survey, uh, as well as a new digital media course, which is already waitlisted, but lots of slots reserved for you. So um, thank you so much, uh, Darby, for reminding uh, me of that. And um, I just hope all of you uh, uh, take care of yourself and hopefully we'll see you sometime soon. Thanks so much. Thank you. Oh, we have one last question. Oh, what wonderful. How many students are in the art department? I would say um, that we have, in terms of our majors, we have about 45 to 50 uh, of the combined majors, but we have a lot of minors, especially in studio. I would say we have maybe another, gosh, Austin, do you know, maybe another 20 minors or something like that. Um, yeah, but our number, huh? There, there are a lot of double majors. I would say, I mean, Gettysburg students I found are very ambitious. And then one thing that's a real benefit, I think about Gettysburg College for me teaching, and I think this trickles down to the students is it's an environment where the campus is small enough and everybody's really passionate about what they're doing, not only faculty, but the administration and the support staff. Yes. And people make things happen. So every project I've tried to do, I find it, I don't find hurdles that are, you know, preventative of that. And everybody's so supportive in making that happen. And I think that comes down to the student experience as well. So a lot of students are doing like shaping their own kind of um, exploration throughout this. And I think that means that, yeah, we have a lot of double majors, we have minors. Um, generally with like the studio discipline, I, looking at the capstone numbers, I think generally we have between what, like 10 and 15 uh, capstone students at a time in the art studio. Mm -hmm. 
I've, I've just it been here varies. for two years now, but I would say that's our number and that fluctuates. I don't know what you get in art studios, but that's just counting like the seniors. And then of course we have, you know, all the numbers of, um, in intro drawing classes, it's generally students are maybe not declared yet. Yes. Um, but we have many sections of intro drawing where, uh, there's kind of a, it's a unique class to teach because it's sort of a first go at getting acquainted with the arts and it's kind of a dynamic environment. Um, but yeah, I would say there's, there's a lot of minors and a lot of double majors that I work with and it makes for an interesting mix for sure. It's, it's wonderful. I mean, I, I think we've had every type of combination of, of, of art and another field and it's psychology is especially rich. Uh, with that. That's really wonderful. People are interested in why do people do things, you know, what's, you know, and uh, the role of heritage, the role of art, religion, all these sorts of things. It's just wonderful. And um, I, I know our, our numbers are growing. It's really, really an exciting time because the, the, we really have such a, what's nice is that, and Darby spoke to this, is that we have a very rich extracurricular um, scene as well, both with, uh, we have the art, an art society, which is an organization, but there's also an art house. So there's actually a residence, uh, uh, a student house devoted to, uh, to people interested in the arts. They don't have to major or not. Um, so it's a really fun, our department is big enough that there's a sort of good hefty crowd of us, but not so big that we don't all know who you are, right? We, we know every single one of you. And it's just that, that perfect kind of balance. Uh, uh, it's just a great liberal arts kind of vibe. Uh, we're kind of the creative end to, uh, you know, a very sort of, uh, you know, uh, rich liberal arts uh, uh, environment. And so uh, that's a, so, it's great. I'm glad, glad we caught that last question there. So I don't know if there are any other, any other questions. I hope that was a good, good answer there. And I don't know, maybe we should say too, that if anybody wants to follow up with uh, either uh, Felicia or me or anybody else in the art department, you can find the faculty and staff listing and our emails and contact information on the website. That's right. If you go to our department's website, there'll be a, a faculty tab and you click on that and you'll see all of us and I'll, I'll you know, so you can always send, send us a message. We can um, answer any questions or, uh, or any of that kind of thing. So, so it's been very exciting. I love, sometimes I, I can't believe we do all of this, <laughs> you know, but, but it's really great. I want to thank Darby and Paige and Austin for uh, joining me in this and, um, wish everyone out there well and stay safe and again hope to see you in Gettysburg hope to see you in gallery <laughs>